Okay, as you can see on today's vlog, we're doing something fun with flowers. That's right, flowers, because I love flowers. I love them growing wild by the side of the road. I love them growing in a garden. Or in a bouquet from a special someone. Yes, or in a bouquet. They smell good, their beautiful flowers just make us happy. And when they come with a special meaning, like as a gift or something, sometimes it's hard to throw them out. So I thought we could find a way to recycle, or I guess technically upcycle? You mean find another way to use them? <laughs> yes, exactly what she said. Anyway, I'm using these slightly wilted flowers from a bouquet to make some pressed flower thank you cards. And Chelsea's gonna help. We're making flower mummies. <laughs> yeah, actually we kind of are. Pressing flowers flattens them, but it does also preserve them so that you can use them for other things like thank you cards. So, who gave you those anyway? Let's start the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so this is what you'll need. Three heavy textbooks, some wax paper, some flowers to be upcycled, and for the thank you card, uh, some cardstock or some watercolor paper. And now, to press those flowers. Open up a book to a page near the back. Insert the wax paper. Or you can also use newspaper or paper towels if you don't have wax paper. Then arrange your flowers. Put the second sheet of wax paper on top of them and close the book, pressing down firmly. To add more weight, add two additional books on top. So how long do we have to wait? Well, it'll take about two or three weeks till they're fully dry. Three weeks? What are we gonna do for three weeks? I have some ideas. Take a bite! <laughs> Okay, so it's been three weeks and our flowers should be completely dry now. <laughs> Not really. We made these a while ago so that they would be ready today. <laughs> She's giving away all our secrets. <laughs> Time to start decorating. With an old paintbrush, apply a thin layer of glue onto your thank you card. Don't use a brand new expensive paintbrush or the owner of said new paintbrush might get mad. I was wondering what happened to my paintbrushes. I was practicing. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> Place your pressed flowers in a pretty pattern on your cardstock. Apply another thin layer of glue over the top with your old paintbrush to secure the flowers in place. They're so pretty. <laughs> well, who are you gonna give yours to? <laughs> My teacher, Ms. Marquez. I wrote, roses are red, violets are blue, school is so fun because of all that you do. Thank you. That is so sweet. She's gonna love it, Chelsea. I hope so. <laughs> so, who did you write your thank you card to? Oh, it's just for the person who gave me the bouquet of flowers. Right, yeah. <laughs> Chelsea! You can. I've been you? looking for a way to Come tell on. you. All right, all right. Thank you everyone for joining us. Peace, Chelsea! Oh, I'm keeping this. <laughs>